Hello everyone, my name is Tanu Sharma and you are watching my second video on to learn CATIA software. Here we discuss how to use CATIA Sketchers Workbench. Start the CATIA. In the first video I had told you that uh, it is a inactive doc here, product 1. Now we change it to the active doc by opening any workbench so here we are dealing with the sketcher workbench so we open the sketcher workbench go to start mechanical design sketcher workbench here in the sketcher workbench we do the sketches do the drawings 2d drawings two dimensional drawings now you can see this tool is active now see what is the name of this toolbar this is the sketcher toolbar it is active the sketch tool is active now I choose any plane x y y z z x any plane on which I draw the sketches like I choose x y plane first of all I use the profile toolbar in the profile toolbar I choose the line button to draw the line like this way I draw the line this is ellipse square circle profile to complete your drawing just press the escape button from your keyboard like this now I want to delete this because I don't want this so make a window like this by left clicking your button and dragging your mouse and press delete button from your keyboard now I choose the spline curve these are the points which I make just press escape to complete your sketch now I choose the line like this and choose circle I can pick any a point from the profile curve and move it where I want as it is not constrained yet so it can move wherever you can make it to move I choose another here you can see I have chosen the circle like this the same point I will give the dimension by using constraint tool by clicking on it making it active and choosing the curve to which I have to give the dimension like this it is 80 I will make it 30 30 is too less no make it 60 
suppose says that it is coincidence this point is in the same line horizontal line of this point it is coincidence now i have to meet this line to this to the to this we use the constraint tool by clicking the control button i choose this point and this circle now this coincidence option this is the constraint i click on it like this see it intersect with this circle similarly i do for this like this now i choose the line button on the same level i make a line with the coincidence constraint active now i make it this circle equal to this circle by giving them this the dimension this is 80 this is 60 so i double click on this dimension and make it 60 this is a this something appears like a car now i trim i erase this part which we call trimming the trimming option you can find in the operation toolbar here is the trim quick trim just click on it it get trimmed oh again i select it and trim it like this now again i choose the circle and draw it i don't need this constraint so i click on it and delete it make this equal to this as previous it is 30 and it is 88 make it 30 make it also 30 okay now you can see our sketch has been completed but this is not all constrained because it has not the full dimensions to do it the fully constrained you have to give it the reference like this is the constraint to to give dimension press the control button from your keyboard click this click this and you can give the dimension again click this you can give this dimension like this when you fully give the dimension to all the these curves then it changes into the green color which shows that your sketch is fully constrained now just i will give you how to use the view toolbar this is the view toolbar as i have promised to show you how to use this this is the fit all in button like this if i zoom it zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in like this the other part is out of the screen just click the fit all in button like this you can see this is the pan button you can pan move the <coughs> design or you can also move your design by clicking the middle mouse button like this middle mouse button this is the rotate you can rotate oh man yes this is this can rotate you also can rotate by 
clicking the middle mouse button and then clicking the pressing the control button from your keyboard you can rotate it also you can zoom in by pressing your control button then clicking your um, middle mouse button you can zoom in zoom out like this now this is the fly mode you can change perspective of the fly mode here the fly mode you can see these options turn head like you turn your head and see the the see the surrounding turn head and you can see you can see you can fly this sketch oh again oh it comes here oh oh man oh like this you can accelerate the accelerate you can make it big or small so i i don't use it create confusion to me so i return back to the exam in more now i save it this save this file by clicking on file save you can see it is saved as cat part you can name this file name anything you want and save it this is all about this video if you like this video just don't forget to press the like button below the video bye bye thanks a lot